Are you crazy? The only way you can make money with art is to be in an art gallery like Van Gogh. <sighs> you just watch me, okay? Yo, you guys can totally make money with art and I'm gonna be going from the easiest and most simplest ways to more of like the advanced, uh, harder ways to make money with art. But here are 15 ideas that you can use. These are things that I myself have done, my coaching clients have done, and also just generally people I know have done. So the first way you can make money with art and also the easiest and also I think the fastest way is to start selling greeting cards. When I actually started my calligraphy business in 2018, this is actually how I started. And I sold these Christmas cards right here and I actually made $500 in revenue. So if you wanna get started, what you can do is you can digitize your artwork and then go to a local print shop and print a bunch of cards, buy some envelopes and then sell it to your friends. Another really way to make money with art is to do custom commissions and you can start doing it with your friends. So you can start posting on your Instagram or on your Facebook, just as long as you post it somewhere and then you can tell your friends, hey, I'm open for custom commissions. Hey, if you're like one of those people who are really good with like doing art digitally on like an iPad or a tablet, then there's a ton that you can do on Etsy in terms of like selling digital things like digital prints, you could do like templates for social media, or if you also have like a cutting machine, like a Cricut machine, then you can print like stickers, you can do a whole bunch of things and sell it on those kinds of sites. Oh, so it's like an online art gallery. Uh-huh. By the way, if you feel lost and you want to make money with your art, then make sure you check out my business plan template, which you can download in the description box so you can start researching and planning out your business. The fourth way you can make money with art is to sell on print on demand stores. So these are stores like Society6, Zazzle, and Redbubble. Basically, if you don't want to ship out physical products from your home and keep inventory, then this is a really good way because you just upload your design and then the store will handle all of the shipping and the handling of products. So you can put your design on like t-shirts, mugs, rugs, a whole bunch of different kinds of things. If you're comfortable with people being around you and watching you do your art, then you can do on-site art events. So basically you can have like a table at like festivals, weddings, events, a lot of like luxury stores will hire artists to like have a table there and like get, do personalized things for their customers. And honestly, this is one of my favorite ways to make money because you actually go outside of the house. It's like super fun and you get to meet more people. So you can start off by asking nonprofits or charities if you can have like a table and just do it for free. That kind of like builds up your portfolio and then you can like put the pictures on your website or your Instagram so that when people organizing events want to pay an artist, then you already have the pictures there. They already know you can interact with people. Okay, I'm gonna share one of my biggest secrets for making money with art. I'm like not the best painter, but I have sold paintings to realtors and these are custom home paintings. So I started off just reaching out to a couple of realtors in my area and saying, hey, do you want a painting for free? Like I'm just trying to practice. And then actually after I, do, I, after I did those paintings, those realtors would post those home paintings on their Instagram. And I actually had other realtors, like the friends of those realtors, reach out to me and actually pay me to do painting. So I think the first painting I sold, like the custom custom home one, it was like an eight by 10 and I sold it for like a hundred dollars. Pretty good, right? For someone who can't paint that well. Wow, that's actually pretty genius. By the way, I'm giving this video a thumbs up. So make sure you do too, if you're finding it useful. If you're a little bit doubtful of whether or not your painting is good or not, I want you to remember that it's the customer's opinion that matters the most, not other artists, okay? Not even your own opinion. It's your customer's opinion that matters the most. And most of the time, they don't know what very, very good painting looks like. They can't tell the difference. The seventh way you can make money with art is to teach private art lessons and workshops. This is actually the backbone of my calligraphy business and how I was able to quit my job. So when I was still working in my nine to five job, I would teach a workshop about once every one to two weeks and I would have about six to 10 people in one calligraphy workshop. And then I did so many that I felt like the revenue was enough for me to quit my job. And that's something I talk about more in, actually in this video right here. The easiest way you can start off with teaching workshops is actually to find cafes in your area that can host you for free. And then when you bring people in, you can tell the cafe that you'll get them to buy a drink. The next way you can make money with art is to actually teach it online. So not doing in-person 
workshops or classes. So you can start teaching online live workshops on Zoom. And then once you get a little bit more comfortable with teaching, then you can create your own standalone course and put it on Teachable or Thinkific or Kajabi. There's like a bunch of sites you can put it and also Skillshare. The next way you can make money with art is to sell your art at fairs or festivals or events. If your art is physical and easy to transport, then this is a really good way to make money. So you can start off by just searching for events happening in your area, and then you'll probably have to like pay some money to have a booth or a table, and then you can go from there. Okay, now let's talk about some more advanced ways that you can make money with art. So the 10th way to make money is to actually start an art blog or YouTube channel like mine. Uh, and you can share tips and tutorials. And this is like a more passive way to make money, but obviously it's gonna take longer. It's like a long-term way to make money. And the income streams that you can get from these like from a blog or a YouTube channel is from ads, affiliate links to like Amazon or other websites, and then also sponsorships. The 11th way is to sell an ebook about art. So if you already have a blog or a YouTube channel, then this is like a really good add on to those income streams. Now, if you're able to grow your audience to like a really big number, then you can have a Patreon. So basically people pay a couple bucks a month to support you because they like you, they love your content, and then they get access to exclusive content from you. So a lot of like really big artists will do this. It's like another income stream you can just like add on and then let your supporters support you even more. The 13th way that you can make money with art is through licensing. So li licensing pretty much means that you give permission to a company to use your artwork. So it's kind of like you renting out your artwork in exchange for payment. And for this, I would highly recommend doing some more research because it can get complicated with like trademarks and contracts and maybe you need an agent and yeah, and like pricing is difficult too. Another way that you can get started with your art career is to actually apply for grants or competitions or residencies. I think a lot of people don't really think of these, but I have seen a ton of these kinds of program, especially for artists who are very talented and they just like need to get started and they, it just helps them like kickstart their art career. So we can start off by searching for grants and competitions in your area, but I would say, why not just search for them like in the entire world? Cause you might find a art residency and then you can like go overseas and like do art overseas and be inspired. And the next way that you can make money with art is to actually coach other artists on how they can make money. So obviously you do have to like have already made some money with your art or else how can you coach people, right? So, but once you do have that experience, then you can start a coaching business and you can promote this through like Instagram or your email list your YouTube channel, there's a lot of ways to do this. And actually this is what I've done for myself. So I started selling greeting cards, doing workshops. Like this is how I started my calligraphy business. And then I moved on to coaching calligraphers on how they can make money. And that's why I have this YouTube channel as well. See, I told you you could make money with art. Hmm. I'm totally subscribing to Dina's YouTube channel because I want to hear more of her tips. And guess what? I've already downloaded my free business plan template from Dina. You can download it too. It's in the link in the description. And then after that, you can check out her video on how she started a greeting card business and how she quit her job.